Welcome back. Thank you for clicking on today's video. Today we're going to be talking about the lovely histogram. Now this is a type of graphical display for one quantitative variable. Here you can see our quantitative variable is sleep. And remember we talked about how quantitative variables usually have units and can have an average calculated for it. Now I've addressed histograms in the past when we were talking about bar graphs um, and I said they're not the same thing and often people get them confused because these have bars so you think oh bar graph histogram interchangeable. No, this is not a bar graph because this down here on the x-axis is a number line which means that these values are quantitative which corresponds to a histogram. Remember that a bar graph uh, has an x-axis that has categorical variables or categories on it. So when you look at a bar graph, uh, you will notice that the bars are separate. Here though, with the histogram, you'll notice that they touch one another. And again, that's because it's on a number line. It is similar to a bar graph in that the y-axis is giving you a count of how many individuals are in each group. So this is the start of five hours of sleep per night. This appears to be the cutoff for seven and a half hours of sleep. So it looks to me like this bar here that's the tallest would be seven hours. This would be six hours. And so I also think that looking at this, it appears to be, I don't know, maybe 700 plus that are sleeping seven hours a night. And this is probably about 500 that sleep six hours. And here, since that's the five cutoff, I'd say it's um, about 150 people that sleep less than five hours plus whatever you have in here. So maybe 200. So with the histogram, you have the quantitative variable on the x-axis and then you have how many individuals are in each bar. Now this is helpful when we get to describing a distribution because it helps you to see the shape of it. Whereas here, which we've talked about these before, this is our box plot, it's the same data but you can't see shape as easily. You can see the center which does still appear to be at seven and you also can see these values which are called outliers. And you'll notice here on the histogram, we actually can't see outliers. So that is a downfall of the histogram and a benefit of the box plot. But as I said, with the histogram, the benefit here is that you actually see the shape, uh, whereas with the box plot, it's more difficult to see. So pretty straightforward to read a histogram. We will look at these in more detail when we start to describe distributions. See you there.